All right, this is looking proper. Flight Simulator is very famous for the landing challenges that it has. You know, you can go to Epic here and just land your plane at St. Bartholomew, which you will get a score for here. Gustav 3 Airport is a public use airfield located on the Caribbean island of St. Bartholomew. We've been there before on the channel. And of course, here we can see the world top 10 of high scores. Arvo 31000 has almost 2 million points in his life landing or her landing yeah this is a serious worldwide challenge now let me also go ahead and participate in it now and we can see the blue square here which marks the point of the touchdown where we have to land and here we go welcome aboard this beautiful tbm now let's land you know let's do this landing properly let's get two million of a score yeah now landing in the sunset here on this beautiful caribbean island swoosh right here this is the crazy one zero approach it's time to get going now. That wasn't actually that good on the touchdown zone here, by the way. Let's check out the score. I really want to see it there. This wasn't a great landing, a bit too far behind, but probably great anyway. Yes! 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 Yes, everybody, the Swiss is there. One has one. Everybody, a score of 1.1 million years. You know, I don't mind this at all. This is how the score is, you know, calculated here. Landing precision, which wasn't too good. Addition to the ground roll, time the landing smoothness, which was actually the best part of this landing, 102 feet per minute. Pretty butter, if you ask me. This combined a pretty good score. Not that far away from the high score of 2 million. I don't mind this at all. But you know, we just flew a TBM here. How how about we fly a big plane here? Like an A320 or something? You know, that's what I found this interesting add-on for. Everybody, the mission changer. I've just downloaded that. And with that one, we can actually change the planes that are used in this mission. So for example, we can get a Embraer plane or something, or perhaps something a bit more interesting. How about the 737-600 here from Air Corio landing downhill on the runway 10? Let's try to get a score of above one. 1 million. All right, there we go. Time to seriously get going. And we're now flying around the island. The airport is somewhere around here here. This is now actually pretty damn interesting to do. I mean, normally the main objective of, you know, landing a 737 on the 600 meter long runway of St. Barth is just surviving. You know, it's pretty hard to stop that airliner here for sure. But that is not all forgotten about. All we care about now is, you know, touchdown zone, smoothness, and ground roll. All right, you're shut up with your stupid bank angle. You know, luckily the approach actually is not judged. That's not that big of a deal. Now we need to, you know, get slow here. Please slow down. Get the spoilers out all the way here. This is a very kamikaze approach where you have to get behind that mountain there. Not really a mountain, it's more of a hill, but you know, okay, come on. You collided with an object. I might have crashed into the actual um, roundabout thing. I might, that might have not worked. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's try again, everybody. All right, here we go. Now a bit of proper here. Let's not crash into the hill this time. I mean, you can for sure say that this hill does kind of ruin our landing smoothness. You have to kind of really come down steeply. And it's hard to catch that up here in your flare, honestly. So come on. Can we get a million, please? Can we not die? All right, that's been pretty good on the touchdown zone. Please stop. Oh, please stop. I cannot stop this. Ah! Shut up. No, this is definitely not what you expected clicking on this video. This is very sad. I might want to try this again, but properly, please. All right, there you go. This is now a proper approach. The approach of the kings. I just want to die, not die. Please go a bit slower. Go a bit slower. Oh, it's easy to be too fast in this approach for sure. Oh, God, no crash into the hill, please. All right, there we go. It's time to stop. Reverse thrust. Why? I cannot get reverse thrust going. Oh, please. Oh, my God. No, not crashing into the water again. Please don't. 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 God damn it. All right, now this shall be tried again. Check out that wing flex, by the way. We might want to actually just approach a little bit slower. This thing can fly at like 100 knots easily. I mean, not really, but kind of. So we shall not fly in at like 140 knots. All right, this is more like it. 100 knots. That's what I'm talking about. All right, this is looking proper. All right, here we go, 110 knots, something like that. That's looking pretty damn good. We hope that we don't crash into a, like a fence or something. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
god, no, we haven't touched down. Oh, please stop. Please just make it a landing. Just don't crash for the first time around. All right, that's a bit better then. We have actually made a landing and it was probably pretty damn bad. I don't want to actually see the score. 500,000. I mean, you know, we cannot even barely land here. Ground roll was pretty all right. The landing precision just was way off. For some reason, we stopped anyway. That's actually gone pretty well. The landing smoothness wasn't as bad as I expected either. We might want to try another airport though. Let's maybe make something a bit easier that's a bit less embarrassing. Now, we all remember Lord Howie Island. And there's also landing challenge to that here on this beautiful Australian island here. We might want to try to land a 747-8 here. No, yes, normally this will be done in a King Air, but we're now doing it in the 747 indeed. I hope this even works. Okay, 747. Here we go, 740. Where's even the runway? Why is it in sunset? I hate sunset. I mean, it looks beautiful, but you can't see the runway at all. It's like actually the worst time of day for landing. Check out that here. That is not going to work at all. Oh, we're way too fast. This plane is way too big. Oh my God, check out this approach. Oh yeah, all right, let's land. All right, there you go, runway's coming up. God damn it. All right, we want to be a bit more careful here as well. All right, come on, let me now try landing a bit slower, a bit more steadily. Yes, the approach that, you know, this is set up on is of course made for the King Air and not a giant 747. So we're coming in from like this base scenario. We kind of have to extend that a little bit. We can perfectly come in for this beautiful runway here and the beautiful sunset here on this tropical island. That's not a 747 rated turn, by the way. Runway will show up soon. Runway will show up here. Runway has shown up. Runway has shown up. Runway has shown up. Runway is here. There's runway. That's not been pretty good on the landing precision, but the thing is, we need to kind of stop with this. That's like the main deal, and we kind of are doing that. Yeah, this runway is plenty long enough for a 747. I can see, you know, I see no issues as in this at all. God damn it, 34,000. <laughs> that has definitely not worked at all. But hey, we've got plenty of more options. I mean, we all know and love Lukla. We can land at Lukla. Um, thing is though, we can use an A320 instead of the diamond plane here used. Oh, oh, that, yes, yes, yes. Um, why, why did it spawn in, us in like that? Some of these missions are actually broken. I would love to land here at Luke Lux. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is, oh, I can't really, this is spawns us into a mountain. Yeah, the mission changer sometimes isn't compatible for all of them. That hasn't worked. Great. Yes, yes, yes. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Wellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.